from here. Uh, so Andreas just asked me to do a quick overview of our email system uh, that we do. Um, what we found over the, the years is integrating email was a real problem for a long time. We've come into a solution that we really like and that we pretty much universally uh, install for clients now. Um, it does mean that you transfer your inbox into Podio, so you're not using Outlook anymore, which is if you're installing it for people, clients, you'll find that that's the biggest pain in the ass because everybody's wedded to their Outlook for reasons passing understanding. Um, and you're not using your Gmail or anything like that. Um, the way this works is we usually create a uh, workspace um, for each employee, very easy to do, and we have a, an email inbox app in here. You can see I've got 33,759 emails in this. Um, this is my current unread emails. I like to keep my unread emails to zero every day. Um, and uh, a couple of key things here. We, uh, you can see here that there's a privacy status. So, well, first of all, how we get the emails in here, we install. Uh, right now we're still using the subject tag because we just haven't gotten around to t fully testing it so it works properly, the um, hidden tags, but we're going to move to that uh, once we fully test it. Um, but uh, at the Gmail or the server level, we just install, uh, just as Andreas instructs you to, uh, filters for if there is a tag or if there isn't. If there isn't, it forces a new item into this app. If there is, it obviously searches and adds it as a comment to that item. Uh, so my inbox, every single one of my emails that comes into my Jordan at WeAreGameChangers.com email address comes into the server, sees there's no tag, and comes in here as a brand new email. Um, it obviously immediately searches out and finds the right contact, uh, Tom here from Citrix, and uh, it immediately puts the, when an email comes in, it puts it to private, and a new email, an unread uh, email address is there. It links to the company, the person, and to the company automatically just through Global Flow. And then we can um, do other bits to link it to other parts of the system, which is the critical bit about this whole thing. Um, and we've chosen to do this like this so that you basically do have an inbox, as opposed to, for instance, applying Global Mail to a contact app where all the emails come as comments. That's a really bad system we found because you end up having to scroll up and down to find all the old emails and you can't search it. Here I can be like, show me all the emails where Tom, I'll do Tom again, um, from Citrix is involved as two, well that's 23. And they're across a bunch of different emails. And you can see here some of them are private, some of them are shared. Um, Obviously, when you when you just have a, an email, uh, like with Globiflow Always, I can just click the reply and my, you know, or forward, and it comes up in here. I can add attachments. I can do anything I want, the, the normal thing. Um, this is really great. It gives you a true inbox f uh, feel to it. Now, the second part that's critical for us is that all emails come in as private. And then we choose to share them because there's, there's certainly as a company owner, um, there are emails that I don't share with my team that are, you know, finance related or uh, lawyer or whatever like that. But also, you know, there are emails that come in from my mom that I don't really need to be up into the, the public. So um, the team basically has the option to share or keep private. If it's private, it stays in that workspace. Um, and if it is public, if you choose to, to make one public, uh, as I'll just make this one public right now, it doesn't really matter. Um, and if I click the shared button, what happens is, again, we use ProcFu for quite a bit of this to push files, for instance. Um, we then, the process will then create a brand, that email up into our shared email in our CRM. And that uh, will uh, create the, the log here and link the two so that any time that we send I say, there it is, um, so that any time we choose to respond to the email or a new email comes in uh, with attachments, it'll update the one and the shared one. Now, the great thing about that is obviously the shared one is everybody can, can see it. So we have the ability for uh, the whole team to be looking at uh, the emails. Can be It can be linked across anything in our deliverables. And obviously we run a flow so that whatever I've linked in my uh, private email gets pushed up to the public one. 
Uh, so that is sort of a shared inbox, which everybody can view. And each of us have our own private inboxes, which we can control the privacy settings and all emails come in and out. Everybody in Game Changers, our company uses their email like this. Uh, nobody goes directly in Gmail or like that. Everybody's inbox is in Podio. And we do this for clients all the time. Um, the other uh, uh, thing that we find sometimes is that uh, we have a email box. Um, we do, for some clients, we just simply have this centralized one. And we use Global Mail on that alone, and everybody works off of it. Uh, the only disadvantage of that is there are no private emails, so for company owners that can be a pain, and uh, everything else. Uh, so certainly it's the best way we have found. Uh, you can see here, I mean, I keep myself down to zero. You know, I try and every day clear out my inbox so there's nothing uh, outstanding. Um, and uh, it's a great uh, opportunity because you can filter, you can determine exactly which bits, uh, you know, show me all the emails between this date related to this project, regardless of who they are, or do any other bits of podio filtering that are so powerful. So that's how we use email, and I certainly highly recommend it. Uh, I've been running email now like this for a couple of years, I think a year and a half, two years. Uh, I've got 33,000 emails in here and I can't imagine doing anything else. It also works fine on the mobile app, the Podio mobile app. Um, it works well on that as well. So I can be doing my emails the exact same way uh, doing on, doing, uh, using the app when I'm traveling, which I do quite a bit. So hope this is interesting to you. Uh, any questions, hit me up on direct message.